Hey there, I'm your host Les Sawi, and in today's video I will show you how to import character assets and animations from Mixamo to Unreal Engine. And this can be for simple stuff like walking around, jumping, and even playing animation montages. So with that said, let's begin. First of all, let's go to Mixamo. Mixamo is a vast library of characters that we can choose from and download. They're all completely free. So for myself, I'll select Brady since this is my favorite character and let's hit use this character. Whenever you're downloading a character from Mixamo, hit this big orange button here that says download and make sure it's an FBX and also in typos and only then hit the download button. Now for the animations, there are so many and so many things that I could go over. So let's start with idle animations. So for this, you'd have something like idle over here. And we can play around with different settings. Some of these animations have more, some have less. So for example, we have overdrive. Overdrive just stands for how slow or fast the animation will be carried out. So in this one, he's breathing. We could slow the breathing down by a lot, or we could simply even speed it up if we wanted to. There we go. So let's do a very good example, which would be play guitar. Over here in this animation, we have so many different options. We can change the stance of this animation, the guitar position, the style he's playing the guitar at, many different things. So back again, speed, we can make it very slow if we want to, very fast, character armor space. And let's say you didn't want this to begin in this exact location or this position, you could trim it from this point to this point, you know, you could play around with this. Now for movement animations, such as walking or running, make sure that you have this one in place, select in place. Otherwise, if you don't have that, your character would be moving forward in the game and would be relapsing like this. And of course, this doesn't look correct. So make sure you have in place. And that's looking good. And you could download this animation. So whenever you download stuff, preferably you want in 60 frames per second, but if you can't, 30, um, 24 would be okay. I normally go for the 60 and you want without skin, because we already have the skin for this character. And if you do it with the skin, you'll just uh, lose some space because it's not necessary for you. So then you can hit the download button. And now I'll go over how you would actually import these into Unreal Engine. So let's open up the project. Let's get my folder with all these animations. So this would be essentially everything I use for Brady whenever I'm recording a video. And let's select my Brady character. So I'll just do it over here in a clean space. So first of all, get your character first. Don't import them all together. Get your character first. Now, here over here in the skeleton, you can leave it as it is. You don't need to change anything. In the skeletal mesh, make sure it's ticked. And if it is not, but by default it should be, just take it to be true. And if something for some reason is messed up, don't worry. Hit the reset to default and it will fix everything. And then you can import all. Since I have the character, I don't need to. That's okay. And now for the animations. If you're downloading an animation, make sure it is correspondent to that skeleton. So I know this is a Brady animation and I know this is a Brady skeleton because it's telling me. So I know this is going to work. For example, if you had an animation for jumping and it was for a different skeletal mesh, it could look completely off, like it doesn't look right or it couldn't even work for you sometimes. So make sure that animation is correspondent to that skeleton. So once it is, you have it selected, we can import all and you're good to go. Now, for example, if you're doing animation montages, so you download an animation, let me just delete uh, two of these. You've downloaded an animation and you need to create an anim montage. So let's go create an anim montage like so. And if I go to my player, I have it set up that whenever I press one, he's going to play this montage. So the only way he would play it is if I open up my da -da -da, animation blueprint. So let's go here. If you don't have this simple node in place, slot, default slot, this uh, animation montage wouldn't play. So let's go and hit the one key. We play this animation or this animation montage. And if we got rid of this guy over here, doesn't exist, compile and save that. And if we go to play, I can no longer play that animation montage. So whenever you do, uh, whenever you are using animation montages, make sure you have that, this guy in place. I believe this is pretty much everything you need to know.
from downloading characters and animations from Mixamo to Unreal Engine. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.